Good afternoon, Steve Wilson from Grand Junction. Up here on my favorite, favorite place to do these videos. In my uh, cast is of course the bucket representing people's liver. And then of course the wood which represents people's skin. And then above all, the bob wire that represents our artery system, our blood system. I want to talk to you today about the two kinds of health care. One that believes that they can either give you some pharmaceuticals when you're not feeling well, so you'd be on this side of the, of the liver, <clears throat> and they just want to get you on the other side to where you don't have the pain. And if that doesn't work, maybe we can do some surgery or something to that effect. And so they kind of keep you wobbling right in, in this area here of Never Never Land, not really feeling well, not really feeling good because there are ample studies that discuss the fact that few people in America today really feel well. And that's the option I want to give you because as you wobble down through life, somewhere between no energy and some energy and, and the caffeines and the, and the energy drinks and, and then the, the products that make you feel better, which of course are the sugars, give you a little boost. But that keeps you in this place where you really never get to where I want to take you which is to the end of this thing where you really, really feel good. And that's an easy thing to go. So I've often questioned, why is it that people get stuck right here in this zone? Is it because they have lack of knowledge, perhaps lack of discipline, lack of purpose? Maybe they're even intimidated. And perhaps above all, they might be a little bit rebellious. And that was me. I chose to be rebellious and go along with a group and I found myself wobbling in that thing, dealing with a little bit overweight, a whole bunch of arthritis. Uh, and many people find themselves in that, controlling their body through drugs. And it just gets, seems to get worse and worse and worse. Well, when it dawned on me that the principles that I was brought on said that if I would eat correctly, then maybe some of this would go away. So coming from a Hebrew background along with being a creationist, now that's a kind of a stumbling block, but you know I don't want to argue with how we got here, but we're going to be dealing with the same cell no matter how you argue that it got here. It has, it has its principles. Now I come from a design background, so when I read Genesis 129, it says I want you to eat the seeds of the fruit. And it's not necessary we don't eat the fruit, but the seeds. And when I finally digested that thing, and then leaped back into the 1950s, when there were a couple of MDs from Harvard that were paid lots of money to tell everybody that fat was bad for them, but sugar was good. And in doing so, they replaced all of the fats, which are the major producer of energy in our body, as opposed to carbohydrates, and proteins. They took all of that out, replaced it with sugar, and now look at us. We're a nation that is really supersized. There isn't one of us that can't stand to lose a little bit of tire around the waist, which would be indicative of the fact that your liver is not functioning correctly. And we find some unusual rules that the vast majority of Americans are dealing with non-alcohol fatty liver disease. This is the fat burner of the body. So if it's not functioning, you can't lose weight. With that on the, on the plate, so to speak, if I can convince you that it's about building ATP, adenosine triphosphate, and producing the energy with less fuel that's necessary, and it would burn this fat, would that make sense to you? Would you be willing to make that change, particularly if it was less money to you? So let's get about this. now. The things that try, probably drive this thing are our emotions. And that's going to sneak into another subject area of frequencies because our emotions, and believe it or not, our body functions in frequencies. So not only are we going to talk about live nutrients that produce energy and then clean the body, we're going to talk about the emotional side, the spiritual side, the financial side, and the emotional side. If you, can, if you can walk with me along this road, I'll have you down here to where you're leaping over the bucket that says health, rather than leaping over this bucket that says 
disease. So along this road, what do we need to do? Well, first of all, we got to clean this bucket up. So we've produced a product called Nefesh that's loaded with elements that clean the liver and clean the blood. Because you see, from our perspective, if your liver's clean, then the blood's clean. If the blood's clean, then the tissue's clean. So we load it up with red beets. Along with that, we want to control a little thing called nitric oxide to where you can get some vasodilation, increase the delivery of oxygen to the cell, and get more oxygen to the brain. Maybe we could have an effect on Alzheimer's disease and those diseases like pulmonary issues. So that would be the beginning. Along with that, we want to begin to clean up the tissue because we're spending bucket loads of money covering up mistakes. We don't want the aging process. So we're going to put in some elements that clean that and, and increase your satiety. So the, the elements that we found in sweet potatoes control hormones rather than calories in, calories out. We want to control your hormones and convert the body into a fat burning machine. So the adiponectin in the ghrelin becomes very important to control. Along with that, we really want to put medicine in the heart. So we use some D-ribose, CoQ10. All of these elements are very protective and they produce things called energy. Now with that in mind, once we can get you out of burning the calories, such from delivered from uh, car uh, um, carbohydrates and proteins, and get you to understand that when you burn that kind of fuel, it takes insulin, and where there's insulin, there's inflammation. Where there's inflammation, there's always fatigue, and there's always disease. The minute we get you into a fat burning mode, a couple things take place. Very little insulin is needed, so you burn cleaner energy, and it produces 30 times almost more ATP than does protein or carbohydrate with less damage. Along with that, I'd like to introduce you to a very interesting 2016 Nobel Prize winning science called autophagy. And we're told that autophagy will only function if you're in a fat burning mode. So not only as a creationist, if you will, we were told exactly how to eat, but the promise was made that if you'll do it this way, I will clean your body. And then on the back side of this, if you're doing this, we'll create a medium chain triglyceride fat that will go back through the body and begin to clean all of the garbage out and create it, create ATP from it. And it will even eat the dead skin as you're losing weight. It will eat that fat and clean you up so you don't have to work, worry about stretch marks. And it's with that in mind that we begin to get into the emotional side. And we want to talk about some of the most interesting science in all of the United States, and it's called quantum physics. And within quantum physics, we start to talk about this little thing that the body is only 1% volume and the rest of it is emptiness. Cambridge has spent millions of dollars to produce a machine that would find out what's in this vacuum where there is nothing. And after a couple of years of, of handling it, they have found nothing, but they know something's going on in here. And it's within frequencies. Our emotions drive our eating habits and they happen to be based in frequencies. So we wanna talk about being around positive people, having a, a picture of ourselves that is much more of a of a positive attitude. And we look at ourselves in the mirror and I say, I like what I see and now I have purpose. And it's within that kind of realm that we begin to listen to different music. We begin to run around with different people and we have an entirely different outlook on life. So it's right in there. Now I will get into this in some really fun ways, but it is Steve Wilson at Dunafesh Com, or my number is 970-260-1740. And it's with that that I wish you a very, very happy Sunday.